I think you're going to like this one. This is a nice short video. State the conditions for translational and rotational equilibrium of a rigid object. And the, it gets even better. We've already done half of this. We know about translational equilibrium. We just called it equilibrium in the past, so we'll just be a little more careful with our terminology from now on. But equilibrium said that the net force has to be equal to zero, or all our forces have to add up to zero. Uh, we usually broke this down into net force in the x direction has to equal zero, and net force in the y direction has to equal zero. If you had a three-dimensional problem, you might include net force in the z direction equals zero, but we tend to just stick with the first two dimensions. So that's right there, the conditions for translational equilibrium. For rotational equilibrium, we know that uh, torque is sort of the rotational analog for force. If we have torque, it causes uh, angular or rotational acceleration. Um, so what we want here is for our net torque to equal zero. So for both the uh, translational and rotational equilibrium um, for an object, we have to have these three situations met. So these are three equations then, which might give you a clue that in these problems we might be asked to solve for up to three variables because we have three different equations. So systems of equations are a, a definite possibility here. Now we might be dealing with three separate equations to solve.